Roman, it finally happened. Lindili Sisulu, the queen herself, finally created a policy that I find myself reading and going, I agree with everything she says. The policy is just brilliant. So I've got to bring up this article. It was an article that appeared in the South African, you know, that newspaper that uh, the, U- the British people kind of read. So the article is, is she for real? And Dili Susulu wants schools to be 50-50, so black and white. And so the article kind of goes on and it kind of goes through basically what she's, what she's proposing. And long story short, what she's proposing is she's saying that South Africa is a deeply racist country. Because of apartheid, all the schools are still predominantly white. I don't know what school she's going through, mate, but apparently they're all still predominantly white. And so she's proposing that we introduce quotas into schools to force black and white learners on a ratio of 50-50. Now, the interesting thing about this article is it has been noted by the DA and FEDSA, so FEDSA is one of the unions, they said, um, don't know if she knows this, but there aren't enough white people in the country to actually have 50-50 in the classroom. They've said it would be impossible in many regions of the country. And they have highlighted that, and I'm going to quote now, this came from the Shadow Minister of uh, Education. He says, uh, it was shocking to hear that the ANC Social Transformation Committee Chair, uh, Minister Lindili Sisulu, Propose a so-called 50-50 racial model in schools. This is a classic example of the ANC misdiagnosing a problem and then giving the wrong remedy on top of that. Again, the pathological ANC seeks to use race as a way to categorize and treat people, this time innocent school children. And the DA rejects the minister's suggestion to racialize schools instead of fixing the dysfunction. But I'm not in agreement because I think the ANC I think the DA have read this completely wrong. According to the population, uh it has been noted that only around 20% of the population is actually English and Afrikaans, with the other 80% being obviously from black origins. So as Fetzer very rightly noticed, um, to do this, to actually have this policy put in place, you would actually have to have mass quantities of white immigration back to South Africa in order to achieve it. So as much as I hate to say it, this is the first policy I've ever seen of Lindsay Lisa Sulis that I actually agree with. Like, it's, it's, it's actually a genius policy, and I am wholeheartedly agree. Wholeheartedly. Sign it into law. Well, Byron, I mean, I'm a bit concerned that you only want white immigration into South Africa. But, I mean, if the ANC is so obsessed with, uh, you know, the demographics as being representative, you know, representative demographics of the country, whatever it is, normally it's like... For every 10 people in a company, like three must be white and seven must be black and, you know, all the rest of it. So Sulu just went off script completely. He says, no, we need equal 50-50 split. And therefore, we need a lot more whites coming back to the country than left in the first place. I mean, as far as I know, 1.5 million whites left South Africa since 1994. Mm. You will need the equivalent of maybe like 20 million coming back into the country. Possibly more. Because I this. think the population's like, what, 50 million or something so it's actually going to be more than that or 60 that's mm. right it's going to be more it's going to be like close to like 29 million mm. whiteies to come back to south africa and uh, to mm. fill in this quota um yeah i can't disagree i would <laughs> oh, as i said in previous videos alan davis said she become the president of this country she's got wonderful ideas because there's this one and she also wants to castrate rapists which i think is a fair idea as well um, hopefully chemical, not like brutal. No, she, she said she wanted to do chemical castration so that they would never be able to rape again. So the logic, the logic is perfectly sound. Like I'm not even taking the purse. I'm not being funny. The logic is perfectly sound. And I think that should be a policy that should be adopted in South Africa to solve gender-based violence because it's a real problem. And I'm not making light of it. I'm not laughing. I don't know why you're laughing about this, Brian. But so I'm, far, Lindy Wissi Sulu has two ideas. <laughs> no, let me finish. She has two ideas that are heads and shoulders better than anything Squirrel has said in the past 30 years. So why are we dealing with this moron as president when Lindy has like two of the best ideas of the last 30 years in South Africa? And I'm not even taking the piss. I'm being dead serious. I think that the <laughs> this is what I was going to say. I think the problem here is actually portrays very well how the ANC actually view the country, and it's like 
it's very interesting because she clearly thought when she wrote this like that the classrooms must be like 100% whiteies and like but doing this you know we're going to give some black people you know an opportunity in the classrooms which tells you that they must really think the demographics of this country man they must really think that like the whites are outnumbering the blacks like 10 to 1 because she's like oh we need to help the under the disadvantaged and the non-proportioned like you're like chick you've been to school like hey man i don't know when the last time you went to a classroom but but it, it don't look like you look like I, i'm pretty sure that there's some places in limpopo that are like what's a white person like exactly. they ain't ever seen a whitey like I don't what know, we man. need we need we need a mass immigration from stoke in england to limpopo mm. i think we should put that on a billboard somewhere we should have like a youtube adverts come you know come back to africa the birth of the human race uh in order to have like you know 50 50 representation in schools because that's a policy of the government i think it's a brilliant idea okay maybe not from, from people from stoke maybe like somewhere else but not uh, stoke stoke's pretty shit. look look we, we we're talking about this tongue-in-cheek guys like seriously like please don't think we're somehow like white supremacist but just like flood the country with white seas like the point the point of this article is just this is like it's it's interesting to see an ANC mindset in reality because their mindset still and we see this in all their transformation bullshit. All their transformation bullshit focuses around the central idea that like blacks are somehow a, min a minority in the country and they therefore need to yeah. be uplifted as a minority group. And it's like you see this in something like the school policy where you like you're trying to implement like a minority type policy that would impact a minority group. But you're not the minority you're the majority and it's like this doesn't make sense like do you actually understand the people that you claim to represent and the answer is clearly when it comes through to this chick like no like yeah. she's just so dumb man like i i can't no. i don't know how this chick even I, ties her shoes in the morning i will not take that blasphemy the, the castration policy and this policy are great policies like i'm not taking the piss you being sarcastic i'm not she's not dumb <laughs> These are the two greatest policies since 1994, and we should pursue them immediately. Like, she should win the election at the end of the year. Take Cyril out, put him on his farm so he can launder more money for whoever he was <laughs> laundering money for, and make Lindy with Cecilia the president. I think it's fantastic. I, really, I wish I didn't sound sarcastic, because I don't mean to, don't mean to be. <laughs> but I think it's, it's two great policies, my friend. We should, we should support them wholeheartedly. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> I got nothing to add to that. Apart from morning shop mug, morning shop coffee, buy our coffee. Like, I don't know what else to say, man. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Vote Lindy Wesusulu. Thank you. Bye.